H.E.S. Ultimage, brought to you by Essentia Oils and Essences. Infuse your environment with their natural, reiki, and crystal-infused Yogini Girl essential oil sprays to lift the energy of your space and body. Available in four unique scents. Invigorating Citrus and Herb Bliss, Soothing Floral Calm, Intoxicating and Sensual Love, and Classic Clearing. Try one today. Hey Cancers, this is Hal for HES Ultimage, and this is your channeled forecast for January 2016. Hey guys, um, for personal readings, you can go to my website, hesultimage.com, spelled just like the channel. They start at just $20, and that said, I do them through email and Skype, depending on the type of reading, so you can check that out there. Okay, so let's get started. All right. So this one's a little more abstract, so I'm going to begin with the general energy that's been provided here. You must grow beyond something that was overwhelming you. And in this case, this has to do with something that was like um, looming over you and also it has to do with something that clouds your judgment or clouds your focus, okay? Um, so I literally got, you want to be in the thick of things, okay? So this month, it seems like you want to be in high activity, or you want to be in, um, okay, let's say you had some sort of project or something, you would want to be, you know, very involved in it, or very, very deeply um, engulfed in some sort of activity. This could also be social activity, or romantic activity. The idea is once you're inside of it, um, inside, there is not as much to see, I literally got, which has to do with the idea that it's like inside, once the activity is beginning, then there's less there than you would think, and I think there might be a cool down, kind of. Um, something big will now seem small, okay? So for Cancers in January, it seems that something that maybe you've been building up or something that you're really allowing yourself to get so deeply embroiled in will be, you know, once you get more deeply involved, seem somehow smaller and not quite as, okay, overwhelming, big of a deal, or um, engulfing. I really get the feeling of engulfing when I feel the energy of this month. It's kind of like, I just feel you being like so swallowed up by this particular um, goal, aspiration, or focus, all right? There are some other shades to this, though, and they're really complex, so I'll keep going, okay? All right. You choose how fast you will get into the clear and shed, you know, whatever this misconception of the, the vastness or largeness is um, to come around all the way, all right? It is necessary for you to attune... Okay, this is really interesting because this is going into, a, like, another kind of shade of this. Um, so I want to word it this way, but I want to caution you that usually I don't use this wording, but I kind of had to. It is necessary for you to attune to the enemy. Okay, now this might be a person or a force that you find antagonizing. Alright, so literally it could be someone or something that you feel is in the way of you um, becoming more deeply involved in whatever this aspiration is, or this goal is, or this activity is. Um... I literally got again, it is necessary for you to attune to these forces and cloak yourself in the right attire to bring the situation into your own power again. Okay, so this might mean that you need to um, focus on being a little more um, in the right shade or in the right light of how this opposing force needs to see you in order to, okay, at the end of the day, move forward somehow, or gain more power in the situation is what I'm really feeling more than anything else. But we're going to come back around to this a little bit more, because I know some other pieces are still missing here. You would be studying what is ideal, and then taking the steps necessary to destroy anything that could bring it down. Okay, so this has to do with details, I think, as far as what you're missing here. Because again, the initial idea is something that seems very big will seem very small at that point. And I think it has to do with some more detail stuff that has to come through before you can really push through the oppositions that are facing you. 
because this is the other thing. It's like there's a lot of opposition that I'm feeling, and my feeling is that you can get past this opposition, but again, part one of that is you fitting the right kind of mold image or um, speculation that the opposition needs to view within you. Now, this could be a few things. If the opposition is a literal person, um, then it has to do with how you're viewed by that person, um, whether there's somebody who's inadvertently keeping you from something that you're, you know, wanting to get, or a, a part of, you know, how you're trying to attune yourself better, and somebody who's a doubter, disbeliever, or hater, if you will, um, or if it's a group of people, like, um, maybe you're trying to go for some type of board, but, you know, everybody's blocking you, then maybe you need to start um, refining ways that you're coming through. Because, again, when I got the thing about cloaking yourself in the right attire, it could literally be this. It could literally be how your image is coming off. It could be how you're wording things and how you're coming through on that level. It could be um, other things related to, you know, again, image um, translation, I would say, is a really big one. But again, this opposition force is fairly direct and strong this month, so you need to be prepared to put on the right kind of um, the right kind of image. And I'm going to give you this one as an example. Um, you know, sometimes in certain films, the hero infiltrates the enemy camp and by doing so has to change their clothing to succeed in doing that. Some of the energy could play out that way. It's not necessarily that. It might even just be, um, you know, uh, how you kind of can attune your, again, appearance, way you're coming through, translating, etc. That's more subtle, you know, and is a lot less obvious than, you know, literally having to change how you're coming through completely in order to get through whatever the opposition is. But it could be possible that for some people, you might have to go in a very drastic direction just to get through the gatekeeper, so to speak. Um, you know, gatekeeper being, you know, whatever circumstantial and being held out of your grasp in this case. All right. Again, the studying, what is ideal, I think, has again to do with not just, you know, um, what you're going through to get through this kind of opposition, but also what you're going to be doing when it comes to this thing that seems great and will become small. I think the other reason it might be becoming small um, is because you're becoming more knowledgeable about what it is you're pursuing or reaching for. And, you know, it becomes smaller because it seems less daunting or less intense or less challenging. And again, because it's like the idea that inside, you know, when you want to get into the thick of what this is, once you're inside, there's not as much to see. I feel like it's something's lifting or something seems less pressing, okay? All right, next one. If you are the only one, this will not be possible. But with a sense of grace, you can rely on your ability to push through, okay? Um, this shows me, again, the idea that you aren't going to be able to get through, okay? Um, whatever the opposition is, you can't technically get through that alone because it's something that, to me, feels somehow not necessarily a perfect third party. For some, I feel like most commonly it would. If it's circumstantial... I think the idea is also that somehow you need to gr grab some sort of, um, again, it, it's the tools to get through it. All right? There's something that you need to gain from others. Okay, there we go. That will help you through the rest of it. Um, so some of these other sources that you're gaining, whether it's through knowledge and study or that idea of the garment or image, is somehow going to be received from others, but this can be incredibly subtle. It could be that somebody gives you some really basic advice and you just acquire it and you implement it. So, you know, if somebody goes, oh, well, you could be a little more this and maybe this will get you through. Or, oh, um, here's a fine detail about what you're studying or trying to become more um, involved in and you use that little detail and it becomes something that gets you through, okay? And again, with that sense of grace thing, um, 
your ability to push, push through again. It's just having to do with um, what I was already talking about, which is that idea of, you know, with a little more in your court, it's going to give you what you need to push through the rest. All right. Um, last part is what was referred to as something extra. So this will probably be for more of a select crowd within the set of Cancers for January. Here's the extra. Express that you are alone and that you need to acquire more volume. Okay, so to me that shows more momentum, more influence, more, um, more presence, if you will. And again, that alone thing came up a few times. I feel for some people that's less integral than for some, so you'll know who you are. But, um, but especially because this was given as an extra, this is for something that, like, is really only relevant to select people within this month under the sign of cancer. Again, express that you are alone and you need to acquire more volume. That will result in you getting more input, all right, which is ultimately necessary for you to get through whatever these antagonizing or, you know, um, blocking forces are in place right now in January that's keeping you from getting as deeply involved with something that you want to. Again, there's a great thing with this month, because you're going to find that, you know, things are going to lighten up a little bit or seem less pressuring, all right? But again, as far as getting through the rest of it, it's about taking in extra information and, um, again, having to refine your image into the right outlook to get through whatever kinds of blocks remain. All right, that said, I wish you a great January, and I will see you later.